Kabusta na mga kaadik? Are you planning to install extra accessories on your electric scooter that require 12 volts battery? And your only option is to use your internal battery of your electric scooter? This is a DC to DC voltage converter, also called a step down converter. It can convert 36 volts to 72 volts battery into 12 volts with 10 amps output. It has 4 wires, black, red, blue, and yellow. The black and the red are the input line wires. Red is positive, black is negative. The blue and the yellow are the output line wires. Blue is negative, yellow is positive. Since the instruction is written in Chinese, I use Google Lens to translate it in English. I first tested the converter before doing the procedure to make sure it's working properly. This is the output port of the 48 volts battery inside the deck of my scooter. The battery is currently at 54.4 volts and when it's fully charged, the max is 54.6 volts. I use alligator clips to easily manage the wires while testing. These are the input line wires and these are the output line wires of the converter. Then, I started clipping the input line wires of the converter onto the 48 volts battery output port. And these are the output wires of the converter. I set the voltmeter in DC setting and started clipping the alligator clips onto the probes. The black alligator clip is connected to the blue negative output line and the red alligator clip is connected to the yellow positive output line of the converter. The result output from the converter is 12.36 volts. After I tested the converter, I began modifying the wirings of the controller. I already pre-soldered two wires, one on each power line wires. One on the red positive power line wire and another one on the black negative power line wire. The power line wires are for the battery or power source. And this orange wire is the power lock or electric lock, sometimes called as switch wire. To make sure I will not mismatch the wires, I put a black electrical tape on the pre-soldered wire which is connected to the negative power line wire. This will be my guide which wire is positive and negative. Always remember red is positive and black is negative. Now here's the plan. The negative input wire of the converter will be connected to the negative power line wire. And the positive input wire of the converter will be connected to the power lock. Then I proceeded to the next procedure. I tap a short wire on the pre-soldered wire which is connected to the negative power line wire. And I did the same thing with the power lock wire. I also soldered on a short wire. Next was, I installed the metal connectors. Always solder the area where you clip the metal connector to achieve reliable and consistent current flow. Once done, I put the housing connector. Take note, these three wires will be connected to the key switch ignition. Then, I continued installing the metal connectors on the other two wires. Remember that the one wire is tapped on the power lock wire and the another one is connected to the negative power line wire. Then, I put black electrical tape on the negative line wire as a guide to avoid confusion. Lastly, installing the housing connector. These two wires will supply power to the converter. After I modified the wirings of the controller, I proceeded installing the connectors on the input wires of the converter. Like what I've said earlier, the black is negative and the red is positive.
Finally, the controller and the DC to DC converter are ready to be connected to each other. You can also put a fuse between the controller and the DC to DC converter for safety purposes. If a short circuit happened, the fuse will heat up and melt. This opens a gap in the circuit and will stop the flow of the current, preventing the other components from getting damaged. Time to test the converter. I first connected the key ignition. Next was the converter and the battery. Once again, I set the voltmeter in DC setting. Then I connected the output wire of the converter to the voltmeter probes. Just a reminder, when working on an electric scooter, avoid the positive and the negative terminals come into contact as this may catch fire or damage the components. The converter is working properly and there is 12.36 volts output. I also tested the 12 volts LED strip connected to the converter and it works perfectly. Once you turn on the electric scooter, the power lock or switch wire will become a live wire. The key ignition kit will connect the power lock or switch wire to the positive power line wire which is connected to the battery. The current will flow between the controller and the converter through the power lock wire. The voltage that runs through the power lock wire depends on how much voltage your electric scooter has. In my case, my electric scooter is a 48 volts unit. When it's fully charged, the battery will reach up to 54.6 volts. And when you turn off the electric scooter, the power supply coming from the battery flowing through the switch wire or power lock going to the controller all the way to the converter will die or stop. In short, there is no current flowing through the power lock wire. Therefore, no power supply is going to the converter. That is the reason why I link the positive input line wire of the converter to the power lock wire from the controller so that when you turn off the electric scooter, the controller and the DC to DC converter are both power off. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to support my channel by liking, commenting, and sharing all my videos. At syempre, maraming maraming salamat. Muli kayong naligaw sa channel ko. Ride safe lang lagi mga ka -addict.